Bobby, three points here on the road at Shamrock Park against Porter Down and off the bench to, to score a goal to put us 2-0 up front. You must be delighted, first of all, with getting your name on the score sheet. Yeah, I was a little bit disappointed not to be starting, obviously, but um, it was a great win for us, more importantly, and um, just delighted to get the to get the goal and, and obviously to help sort of seal the win. And you sort of came on around in around the hour mark. Uh, Mick gave you, you anything before you came on in terms of advice or what he wanted you to do? Yeah, he just said try and stay on the left-hand side and really get up to support the front two and, and uh, try and nick a goal, and thankfully I was able to do that. I think the first half we sort of struggled to... Um, get the ball and keep them in their, their final third and I think second half we did that better and Danny came on and did well and um, our front two we were able to hold the ball up and, and it made it easy for Terry and I to just run off them with energy and I was a little bit disappointed to score the header just before so I was delighted then to, to capitalise on the next chance. I suppose standing, sitting watching a game you can sort of say what the players should be doing but usually the guys sort of playing in them conditions that wind in the first half was was wild even though it was for us but it just, just didn't fall for us at all in the first half. Yeah I don't think those conditions are for anybody because even with the wind can can sort of struggle to contain the ball I and mean, when you're trying to play balls over the top to just run out of play so I think actually it probably just, uh, made it a better game the second half and I was a bit unlucky for Porter Down that the wind sort of died down at half time and, and when we came back out I think we played much better football and got into good areas and we probably should have scored a couple more but um, as I say having been on a little bit of a poor run recently it was just important to come here and get the win and um, sort of feeds us now into a big game next week against Crusaders. And uh, it was a change of shape today I know we, we have maybe played that shape uh, maybe once or twice this season. Uh, we did speak about it in, in the preview in terms of the adaptability of the team and players can play a number of positions. You know, what, what's that like for, for players in terms of playing that change of shape today? Look, it's a game of football at the end of the day. You get the ball, give it to a teammate and try and put the ball in the back of the net. So, you know, it, it, sometimes you can overcomplicate it talking too much about formations. And um, Yeah, I mean, I've played a number of different formations at different clubs I've been at, so it didn't really bother me too much. And, I think with the personnel that were available, the system probably suited as well. Obviously, without uh, Connor Mag and, and Shea, we had to kind of maybe adapt a little bit, and it, it might be a system we might need to, to use a bit more in the, in the coming weeks. So, um, I thought the first half we were kind of getting used to it, but I thought the second half we started to really show what we can do in that system. And it was, I think we did well with Jay and Danny getting close to one another and, and sort of working off one each other with off each other with one two. So, it was. Uh, I think the more you play in any formation, you start to get more comfortable with it. And you showed a different side to, to your game today. We did mention again preview um, that how versatile you can be. You know, this season you've been getting the ball from deep and sort of winning it back and and passing it to likes of Shea and, and Hervoy today. You were that player that was getting the ball and driving forward, sliding through passes and, and getting shots off. Speak to a bit better than being sort of areas of the pitch. Yeah, I think everybody wants to be a striker when they're younger, but uh, it's probably the only position I haven't played since I've come to Glentorn. And as I say, I just try and work hard for the team and do my best. But um, I really enjoyed that road. I thought Jay and Danny's hold up play was very good and, and it made it easy then for me to just run off the back of them and um, as I say I really enjoyed it. it was, I think it's some, a role that I can play with my energy and, and sort of just bursting into the box and um, yeah I think Danny put a great ball in early on and I would love to have scored the header but I was, although I missed it I was delighted to get into that area and got into a few good areas and, and then obviously for the goal it was just taking that gamble that you know you, you see how many goals um, Leroy Miller and Philip Laurie have got already this season and, Sort of took inspiration from that. That if you get into good areas, even if you do scuff them, you know you, you can you can get a few goals. And uh, you know the Irish league sort of brings up its, its fair share of crazy results. And we've been on a run of poor results there. You hoping obviously today's win will, will kick us on, and we can hopefully put another run of results together uh, as we go into the Christmas period. Yeah, it's such a competitive league. I think I was just saying there on the BBC interview. It's uh, it's so competitive that every team will take points off each other. So we just have to focus on ourselves and see where we can put, put the points in. And if we can win as many games as we can, other teams will take points off each other. And, and towards the end of the season, maybe post split, you'll have a look at the table and, and see see what you can do. But I think we're just focusing on ourselves and, and trying to sort of focus on our own controllables and then just see where it takes us. So um, it's a good win for us today, but it's it's just one more more step. And we've got to go to Crusaders next week and and try and beat another sort of top six rival and. And as I say, if we can beat them next week, then it, it would put a little bit of distance between ourselves. And just on that game against Crusaders next week away at Seaview, it's always a sort of a tough place to go, artificial pitch, and you know exactly what Crusaders are in terms of what they do on the pitch. Yeah, it'll, it'll be a tough game, it'll be a battle, there'll be a lot of maybe long balls and physicality in there. And I think we had two really good results against Crusaders last year at Seaview, so hopefully we can we can replicate that, although they beat us twice at the Oval, so I'm sure it'll be, it's, it'll be set up for a good game for the neutral. And, Hopefully we can come out on the wrong side, on the right side of it. <laughs>